division we go here. Two quarterfinals in ring B of Bantam. This is Tomoya Tsuboy of Japan. Wins against Manuele Kapai of Italy and Shakobadin Zoyer of Uzbekistan. That was a big, big win. Big win against the reigning Asian champion. And this is Jabali Bredi of Barbados. He's been good to watch so far, beating Nandor Soka of Hungary and Enk Amgallan of Mongolia in what was a good fight. Boy boxing one previous World Championships. So that was back in 2015. Breedy in one previous Worlds too, and that was in 2017. So neither of them have been on this stage for a while. Two boy. Jabs to the body quite a bit. In Zoyrov though, hit the Uzbek with a lot of rights to the body. Commits with his feet. He is quite short, but then again, so is Jabali Breedy. So I think this is going to be a rare occasion for Suboy where he actually has the height advantage. We'll have a look when they come to the centre of the ring, and he does. He's probably got a couple of inches there on, on Jabali Breedy. But Breedy is really good at closing that distance. He's explosive. He's got good upper body movement. Strong southpaw left hand, so I think this could be a, an entertaining fight between these two. So two boy of Japan in the red, Breedy of, of Barbados in the blue, and when he won to make it through to the quarterfinals, he became Barbados's first fighter to reach the the last date of the World Championships for a quarter of a century. The referee getting in early there and just warning them both about keeping their their heads up. Breedy just throws out left hand. Back foot came round a little bit, but as soon as he let it go, he, he moved in behind it, got those gloves up, so it was difficult for Suboy to counter him. Two there, Sue Boy caught mainly on the gloves. He makes this kind of arcade game noise almost, Sue Boy, every time he lets a punch go. It's quite funny. Combination there from Breedy looking to go to the body. Nice short left hand there, lead left hand almost from the fighter in blue. There's a clash of heads there, and he's just dabbing at his eye there, Breedy, but I think it's I think it's okay. There's no blood, which is good. Short right hand there from Suboy as he came in. Looks for the one two. If they're up close, then the advantage in hand speed here is with Breedy, I would say. Like right to the body there from Suboy. Breedy again just losing his balance a bit behind that left hand. That's happened a couple of times. Suboy's turning him well. It's difficult for Breedy to get onto the inside at the minute into the final 60 seconds of the first round. We got up close there, Breedy, and eventually let an uppercut go, but I think it took a little bit too long to, to go about his business, trying to whack to the body there. Just there for a, a spell, got, got on top of Suboy a little bit, right hand on the inside got through for Breedy. Just marching in there, quite square, and again just saying to the referee that he's sticking the head in there too, boy. The referee's not bothered about that. Nice short left hand on the inside. He's he's not going to be told by Breedy what's happening. He'll make up his own mind. And again, and again, and he's he's upset here, Jabali Breedy, and he has got to he has got to try and stay calm. Head clash indicated by the doctor. He cannot allow this to to disturb his concentration here, Jabali Breedy. It's it's easier said than done because he's he's pretty livid, to be honest with you. But he's got to keep his composure. Fight with a clear, cool head here. 
comes straight in with the left hand and lets his hands go to the body followed by left upstairs and really looking to put it on Zuboy towards the end of the round and, and harness that frustration and that was a good attack from him just doing a little bit of work on that cut but it's a nick there's not much in it Zuboy just staying on his feet in between rounds and We've got split scoring there, three for two boy, two for Breedy. And maybe that, that assault right at the end of the round there was enough to get it with, with Italy and Hungary. But because before that, I think that was two boys round. But towards the end of it, he was beginning to, to do some good work on the inside there, Breedy. Because that's where he needs to be. That's where he absolutely has to be. short left that was a lovely shot so this is tight this is tight all these quarterfinals are going to be tight you would imagine having said that we've seen one quite comfortable win in our very first fight but the second one was was nip and tuck until we got the head clash and split scoring at the end of the first round here it's I've said it a few times now but Breedy has, has got to make sure that the fact that he's aggrieved about what he feels is use of the head by two boy does not affect him and disrupt him too much. It's a good start to the round. Breedy again. Looking to let go on the inside. Two boy just taking his feet out of touch and pumping out that one two. Two boy now backing up. He's got to keep throwing that one two. Well, he's going over to the doctor again here. Head clash. I don't know if it's a, a second head clash that has been called by the referee. But he hasn't really spoken to Two Boy about, about any careless use of the head at any point that I've noticed. So the referee of the opinion here that these are just pure accidents and that there isn't really anybody to blame. They are pretty similar in terms of height. Two Boy kind of just boxes his height. It's Breedy who really dips those knees and can tend to come up with the head a bit. So I can understand why the referee would, would feel that you can't really blame Suboy for what's happening here. Nice one too there from the Japanese fighter. Just caught Breedy at a good range, at a good distance. Clips him with the left hand there as well. And I think the frustration is, is working against Breedy. Now initially, I think it gave him a bit of fuel to really let his hands go and be aggressive, which he does need to be, but I think it's got to the point now where it's tipping over into something else. It's becoming a, a distraction, possibly. Nice right to the body there from Suboy. Breedy just leaping in with the left hand. That was a, a quite bizarre manoeuvre. Suboy with a long right landed not with any force at all but it did land it's a scoring punch shake of the head there from Breedy two boy flicking out the jab right hand from two boy little flurry on the inside from Breedy he's having a good spell here though Breedy I think two boy I beg your pardon again just throws in that one two steps back off Right to the body. And you can see the frustration there from Breedy again as the referee got into break dummy. Walks off to his right hand side and the body language from him there is not it's not good. Into the final few seconds of of round two. He obviously feels aggrieved at, at the way this has, has gone regarding the cut but he's got to let it go split scoring in the first round my feeling would be that this second round is going to go to the red corner
And if it does, because he only got two cards in that first round, then that would leave him a big mountain to climb. And indeed it does, because all five scores go to two boy, which means that he's ahead by two points on three cards. And we've got two drawn on 19-19. And the difference, and I've mentioned this loads of times over the last eight days, the difference between finding yourself two points down on two cards and three cards is, is huge because if you're only down on two then you've got three level and if you therefore win the final round on those three level cards then you can win the fight if you're two points down on three cards you've only got two level and then you need more than that you need ten eights and that's the situation he's in here Jabali Brady he needs ten eights two boy of Japan in the ascendancy he's in the red Brady of Barbados in the blue Really just waiting to pounce from the outside, you get the feeling. <laughs> nice left hand got through there from Breedy a couple of times actually, boxing out of that crouch, threw it straight down the middle. Breedy just pushing off with the inside of the glove and Sue Boy falling rather dramatically use of the forearm there actually signaled by the referee a minute down in third and final round and that was around the back of the head there from Sue boy that was quite obviously around the back of the head maybe the referee is determined that Breedy span around he does let quite a lot go the referee here and I'm not I'm not against that I'm not against that he absolutely refused to bow to any protestation from Breedy earlier on about how that cut was caused. He just wasn't interested. And that's good because he's in there, he's in charge, and he's making up his own mind. He's not being influenced by the fighters. Referees can be sometimes. Nicely picked right hand there from Sue Boy. And he's going to go through to the semi finals and pick up a, a bronze medal. And as I say, a check for at least $25,000. Once you get that far, you want to go further. Nobody's going to be satisfied with that. And Sue Boy again there just goes to ground in, in dramatic fashion. But it's got to be a good feeling to know that at the very least you will walk away with with substantial reward. And he's boxed well, he's boxed intelligently. He's managed to keep Breedy at bay. When he's had to mix it up on the inside, he's held his own. But for the most part, he's managed to throw that one to the bell goes and then embrace between the two which is good to see, that's always good to see, because Breedy was, he was angry at times in that fight about the, about the head clashes, but as soon as the bell goes, it's all over, which is exactly how all sport should be conducted. And it's going to be Sue Voigt who goes through to the, to the semi-finals. As I say, that was a good discipline display from him. So through goes Sue Boy by unanimous decision in that final round there. It was split scoring. 3-2 two, two Boy as the as the first round was. 
So in the end, we've got four scores of 29-28. Two rounds to one and one of three rounds to nil. It was one of those fights where it was competitive all the way through. I probably would have gone three nil, I think. It was competitive all the way through. He was very much in it, Jabali Breedy, but Sue Boy just had the answers. But who will he meet 